Hello my absolute mental friends and welcome along to another edition of Absolute Mental's Got Talent. We have a talented person here today. This guy's named David Purden. He doesn't like Davy. And he used to do comedy years ago. Gave it up and he would like to get back into it. And I think this could be your opportunity to try that. Well, let's have a wee bash at it then. Would you like a wee bash? Go for it. Well, I'll tell you what, this is David Purden. On you go, my son. Change my name again. All right, sorry, <laughs> David Purden. I will tell you one funny thing that happened to me because of these. When I got ill, I was discharged from the hospital. I was in a pub in Livingston. And I was coming out from the toilet. And as I was coming out from the toilet on these two sticks, there was an old elderly gentleman coming in on two walking sticks. One young guy's holding the door open for me, one young guy's holding the door open for the old guy. And I turned around to the young guy holding the door. For me, I said, I bet this is the worst episode of st Robot Wars you've ever seen. <laughs> so then, when I got out, and a guy came into the pub and that's where he saw me on these two sticks, the guy on the two walking sticks, one guy with one crutch, one guy with one stick. And he said, is this a cripple's day out? And I said, I thought this was a fucking scrappies. I said, I've come away myself in. <laughs> My brother, John, who sadly passed away now, was a very, very funny man. And we were working in a pub and my brother one night in this pub in a place called Andover in Hampshire, it was very, very busy, and my brother decided to be a complete and utter idiot. <laughs> now, I'm going to give you the abridged version of what my brother done. What he's done is, these guys have asked what bitter they have. And my brother said, well, we've got five different. And he said, what have you got? And he ran through this list and then said, and we also have Arnold Schwarzenegger bitter. And I'm looking at my brother as did everybody else and I think, what the hell is he going to do here? And what he's performed is, and I'm not going to do the whole thing because I can't, he's kind of limbering up like a weightlifter. And he's slapping his face and slapping his thighs and he's jumping up and he's like, oh, oh, oh. I said, and then he went and he grabbed a hold of this beer pump, which obviously was not Arnold Schwarzenegger, bitter, and that's right. And he poured half a pint. The whole pub is in the uproar. The guy who's pouring the pint for is totally bewildered as to what's going on. My brother then walks up and down the bar again, goes through the other process of doing it all again, going, <laughs> and pour the second half of the pint. Then unfortunately the guy's mate says, can I get one of them as well? So my brother went through the whole palaver again, the place is in uproar. The two guys walked off and I said to my brother, that is absolutely brilliant. The thing is with this, the next day, these two guys came back into the pub and it was only me behind the bar. And the guy said to me, you were working last night, weren't you? And I said, yeah. He says, see that little Scottish guy? And I went, uh huh. He says, was that Arnold Schwarzenegger bitter? He says, really that hard to pour? He says, I'm really just fucking about. And I went, I'll go and get him for you. My brother was working in the kitchen and he's come out with his little marigolds and a little mop and he went, I used to that effing stupid. <laughs> I was asked one time by a Scottish guy, and it's only the Scots, but this was down south, it's only the Scots they call ready salted crisps plain crisps. So, there's a whole day have my bases, and this young guy's come up, and he's Scottish, and he says, all of the drinks, he says, can I have a packet of plain crisps, please? I says, I've run out of plane, I say, I've got a packet of cheese and onion, I can run under the tap for you if you like. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a, a little story about my mother. I am from a lot, very large family, and I have two sisters. So at any one time, I could only have two brother-in-laws. At this family party, my sister closest to me's husband sidled up to my mother, who was only five foot nothing, and he was nearly six foot. And he said to my mother, and he looked up, well, he looked and she looked up, and he said, come and give your favourite son-in-law a hug. And my mother looked up and she says, you're not even my second favourite son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and that kind of set the tone for the party for the night. <laughs>